Hello, we're putting a 5060 Ti 16GB and a 3060 12GB in the same computer. That gives us 28GB of VRAM, which we'll use to run the largest Gemma 327B Q4 AI model right here on this machine. The VRAM bandwidth. The MSI Gaming X3060 is a lot bigger and heavier than the Asus Dual 5060 Ti. The second GPU can be mounted on this motherboard with a PCIe riser. On motherboards with good PCIe slot spacing there is no need for a riser as the second GPU can be mounted directly onto the motherboard. There's no hardware linking the two GPUs like NVLink or SLI. Software simply divides big AI models, placing them on each GPU's VRAM. 16GB on the 5060Ti plus 12GB on the 3060, total 28GB VRAM. Now let's run Gemma 327B on these two GPUs. It's too large to fit on one GPU. Loading the Gemma 327B local AI model onto the two GPUs. The software splits the model, loads 14.4 GB onto the VRAM of the 5060 and 5.4 GB onto the 3060, as you can see. Say hi to warm up. Asking the local AI to write a 200-word story. The speed looks good. The performance of 17 tokens per second is very good for a system with a 5060 Ti and a 3060. This is only slightly lower than the 22 tokens per second achieved with two 5060 Ti 16GB cards. Excluding the monitor, the system draws 78 watts at idle and 278 watts during a heavy AI workload. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe so you don't miss our future videos. Thanks for watching.